It's about to start. <laughs> it is about to start. Have. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna hit a trailer. Hey! <laughs> welcome to our Resident Evil Showcase. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, here to give What's you good, a Brittany? look into what Capcom has coming up for the Resident Evil franchise. We'll be kicking things off with some brand new content and... It's dope to see her host. Resident Evil Village gameplay Whoa! Oh gosh, Who's... To miss. So, without further okay, ado, first person let's get view. started. We knew it was going to be in first person, but... I still got to get over that. I got to... I might have to replay eight this year. Hey now, think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Okay. Bell's ringing. Oh my god. Give it to me. Another mansion to explore. I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much to handle. When I find him. No, Mother Miranda. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. Uh-oh. She don't sound like she's playing around. Ooh. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? No. The place is full of nothing but blood and death. I wonder if we're going to have zombies. Or is it just going to be... Crazy people, werewolves, zombies, okay. Traditional, almost. That's definitely, that was like a vampire. Whoa, okay. Was that Chris taking the baby? Well, well, Ethan Winters. There you are. <laughs> Show gameplay, gameplay, go go into the gameplay. Go into gameplay, please, 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 please. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Let's go. Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. <laughs> That's the guy we've seen in the Amazing, but I yes. still have so many. Yes, questions. like when can I pre order this thing? Perhaps producer Pete Fabiano has uh, some answers for us. That's gonna Let's be today, to of say. course. It's gonna be today. Why wouldn't it be today? Hey, everyone, I'm Pete Fabiano, producer on Resident Evil. Village. What's good, bro? When we first announced Resident Evil Village back in June, we only mentioned PlayStation 5. I'm happy to announce that we've been working hard to bring the survival horror experience onto current gen as well. Okay. Resident Evil Village will also be coming to PlayStation 4 day and day okay. with PlayStation 5. The PS4 version can be upgraded for free okay. to the digital PS5 version. Yeah, that's it's cool. It's also my pleasure to tell you exactly when you can get your hands on the game. That is cool. That Resident is cool. Evil Village will be available worldwide on May 7th. May 7th. Okay. Pre-orders kicking off today. Okay. Alongside the standard edition, we have a few other options for the game. First, we have Digital Deluxe Edition, available Digital on Deluxe. all platforms. Players will be able to heighten their survival horror experience with extra content, including in-game items that call back to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Mm. There's also a Collector's Edition for consoles that includes all the Deluxe Edition content, as well as a striking figure of Chris Redfield, a steelbook mm. case, poster, 
and art book. That was a pass for, for me. For those of you who haven't played the previous entry, we have the Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Bundle. Okay. This lets you get your hands on the award-winning RE7 while you wait for Resident Evil Village. Pre-order any of these editions, and you'll be able to get your hands on both <laughs> the Mr. Raccoon Weapon Accessory Mr. and the Survival Raccoon. Resource Pack. Mr. Raccoon Weapon Accessory? Few hours of what is that? Finally, digital pre-orders from the PlayStation Store will receive an exclusive Resident Evil Village mini soundtrack. Mini soundtrack. I don't need a mini soundtrack. All right, I've been waiting <laughs> for this. I know you've been waiting for this. It's time for the world premiere first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Alongside this first look, we have Pete Fabiano back to offer some insights as well. Let's okay. Take a look. So this is okay. Now we're here to give you an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Okay. Just like in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, you'll be taking control of the oh, okay. characters. That makes sense. I thought the other guy was away from the village to the castle. Players will need to get in and search for their kidnapped daughter. As oh. you've noticed by now, Resident Evil Village keeps the first person perspective. Yeah, we think wild. it really draws High players stakes. into the detailed world we've created. Yes. Yes, it does. I'm waiting for them to say that this would be playable in VR. I don't see why not. You'll see a lot of those little details come to life here. The team put a ton of effort into creating a truly authentic feel. Okay, popping. I see a little bit popping. That's From okay. Art design to technology, everything <clears throat> ties in great and creates some beautiful visuals. I hope I get a PS5 before this, bro, because this, I want to play some of these games that are cross-gen on the best to some of the platform to, As you'd to expect, play on. A warm welcome's not really what's in store for you. No. <laughs> Oh, okay. Man blood. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, now, let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Oh, okay. Let's see how special you are. Shifting gears a bit, we're finally going to show off some combat. Okay. I mean, it's first person shooting, right? Yeah. It's not just about shooting. Guarding will also be an important part of the game. What? Okay. Each guarding enemy has their own distinct way of fighting. So well, that's a big motherfucker. What the fuck? Everyone knows what to do with red barrels, right? <laughs> yeah. Something you want to remember is similar to Resident Evil 4. Yes. This time around, we've added crafting, which allows you to create items such as first aid and ammo. Cool. There's also an assortment of weapons to find and utilize throughout the game. That's cool. The gunplay definitely looks stiff compared to the remakes. I've been waiting for you, Bro. Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. The merchant makes a return. This time he's known as the Duke. The dude. You'll be going to him to buy and sell weapons, amongst other things. The, the director dude. wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. He's an interesting fella. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Definitely look like an interesting fella. Smash away with your trusty knife. There's plenty of items to find in your travel. Okay.
Yeah, this is gonna be a slow walk for me. You hear that? I'm definitely walking we've hella also got slow. Extra objectives outside of the main ones. Of, of course, course you do. Without saying that there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve for players to move forward. Oh, and uh, plenty of surprises okay. to keep you on your toes. Of course. What the fuck? What the? F it was inside of him. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just watch. What is? What are you shooting at? Flies? What the fuck? Well, that's one way to end the video. Why would you end it there? I've shown you what's in store. Don't end it. No, don't, don't, don't. Keep showing. Let's keep showing. Look at the exclusive PlayStation 5 demo. Exclusive? Wait, PlayStation 5 demo? No, don't do this to me. Escape the dungeon. For this demo, players won't be playing as Ethan, but as a character we're referring to as the Maiden. The Maiden? Unlike the actual game. This experience doesn't feature combat or even blocking. What? You're just walking around and being scared? This has got to run like hell? <laughs> what? Maiden, only on PS5? Don't say that. Don't say We're that. We're hoping to have players get a real feel for the visuals and audio as they take the Maiden on her journey to find a way out of the castle. And you can download the exclusive demo. No! Today. That is a bummer, bro. We want as many people as possible to get a chance to play. Okay. So we'll have a separate new demo available on all platforms ready for sometime this spring. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the Resident Evil franchise. Bro! What? The very first game releasing in Japan back on March 22nd, 1990. That was cool. The game looks fire. The, has the demo looks fire. I want to play the demo. I don't got a PS5, bro. To CG movies, to live action Come on. Films. Resident Evil that was a, that was a, a miss. Resident Evil continues to offer surprises around every corner, so let's pass it along to producer Yoshi Kanda to hear more about what you can expect in 2021. Earlier this month, we started inviting players to join a Claus beta test. The test won't happen until later next week. But I want to use this chance to reveal more details. With the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil coming on March 22nd, mm -hmm. we are excited to celebrate this milestone with our fans. Last September, we showed off a piece of key art showcasing some of Resident Evil's iconic characters to start the celebration. Now, I'm happy to announce what was behind that. Let's take a look. What key? What was the key art again? Oh, is Leon? And Claire? Are right, versus? Okay. So this is. Resident Evil Remake Engine versus game. What the fuck? That you could turn into Nemesis? It's a little shell shady cartoonish almost. Oh, and it got people from. This is one of the ways we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of the franchise. It got to everybody, even so people from Seven. Characters that fans love. It'll be available for free to anyone who purchases Resident Evil Village. Oh, so be okay. sure to follow the Resident Evil social channels for the latest news. And check out the official website for even more details. Okay. That looks cool. It doesn't look something that I'm going to stick my teeth in too much. On behalf of but it does look it like it's going to be fun. Congratulations to the Resident Evil team on their 25th wait, anniversary. Wait, Ubisoft? We can't wait to get our hands on our reverse. For the occasion, we are bringing a celebration to our game, Tom Clancy's The Division 2. For a limited time, you will be able to collect some of the iconic outfits and items from the original Resident Evil trilogy. Okay. Everyone that logs in during the event will get Leon Kennedy's Raccoon Police Department outfit as a warm-up. Okay. Let's have a look at some of these. Okay, that's cool. So Division 2 is getting on the action. 
That's cool. I wonder if there's a Ubisoft Resident Evil thing going on. As far as like them helping out to do a bigger game or something like that. Because imagine an open world Resident Evil game like The Division. That'd be crazy. Okay. Everybody's going to want that. The hunk outfit. Infinite Darkness? Okay. Let's talk about Referee Infinite A3. Oh, okay. It's a uh, um, movie. So focus on Claire and Leon. A few years after Resident Evil 4, when Resident Evil was shot and was soon get caught up on the Okay, it's going to be on Netflix. Okay. That's cool. I'll watch it. I'll check it out. Wow, a lot's been happening, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Yep. If you missed anything along the way, don't worry. Keep an eye on the Resident Evil social channels and official website, which will be sharing everything from today's show. Okay. As a quick reminder, Resident Evil Village is available for pre-order starting today. Yeah. PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. Let's go. And don't forget, PlayStation 5 owners also get a sneak peek through downloadable content available worldwide starting today. Okay. It has been an absolute honor to celebrate the amazing Resident Evil franchise leading up to its 25th anniversary with all of you across so the world. So no Switch stuff. I'm your host, Courtney okay. Brombacher, and thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Okay. I thought we were going to get a little taste of a like Nintendo Switch announcement, maybe. Of not a Resident Evil, but more of just, like, maybe the old classic OG games coming? Or maybe something across those lines. That's what I was thinking. And we didn't get none of that. Very interesting. I'm very interested on Resident Evil. I'm on the fence. I, I want to play this on PS5. I don't want to be playing it on the PS4, wanting to play it on the PS5, and then when I do get a PS5, play it again. I want that fresh, dope experience on that brand new console. And this is one of the games I want to play on the P5. So right now, this is a, I'm, I'm like, especially with this, this has sold me. I, I would buy the game right now. I would have bought the game right now on the P4 if that demo was on P4. I feel like they're pushing that P5 narrative in that, like, if you got a P5, you want to see how great it looks and how good it's going to run. And look at the demo. We got the demo working now. And it's like the P4, I, I'm after something like Cyberpunk, I'm like cross-gen games. <laughs> Granted, I shouldn't put that on um, Capcom. Capcom has yet to showcase um, their lack of ability on PS4. If anything, they have tons of games on PS4 perfectly running. And again, AAA developer right here. And I don't know. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. There's something about Village that is like, I'm like hesitant to pull the trigger on. I'm, I'm trying to say that it's the PS5, PS4 thing, but I don't know. I think, again, my mind might be changed. I need a replay. It's been a while since I dove into RE. What was it? The 7? Let me play Resident Evil 7, get the first person Resident Evil train going back again and see how that rocks my boat. But I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like always, I answer all comments. So let's have that conversation down there about everything that we just seen today or everything that we i don't know to me it was cool it was exciting resident evil um eight looks amazing the um village looks amazing the multiplayer stuff i'm not too interested it looks like something i'll play for a couple of hours or a day or two and basically drop and never pick up again i'm i don't play division so i wasn't into the division stuff and the demo and all that stuff is great granted it's great if you have a ps5 but i don't have one so let me know what you think of everything in the comment section below peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all 
all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one